Welcome back to the career mode, episode 13. If you're new around here, we're fourth in the league, we're not doing too bad. It's actually quite a close, tight-knit top four there. It's January, January the 11th, I believe, and I've got some shortlists uh, to show you now. So it's no lie, I need a midfielder. One, to compete with all the other European teams in all the competitions. Two, because every single one of mine's injured right now. I put a poll on the community tab saying Tonali, De Jong, Valverde or Ramsey. And Valverde won this by an absolute landslide. It wasn't even close. 63% for Federico Valverde. So, we're going to go and have to buy him. Bit of an issue though. He's valued around 70 million. They want 100 million, but we can probably get him for 86, it says there. We only have 82 million in the budget, and that is, well, not enough, let's be frank. Basically, it's not rocket science. We can't magic money out of nowhere. But I really want to bring this guy to the club, along with Ibere Eze. So I put another poll saying, uh, attacking midfielder, Eze, Elise, Fatty, or Marquinhos from Arsenal. And it was all actually pretty close, but Eze won that by 49% in the end. And I love Eze in real life. I speak about him all the time in videos. I think he's a great player, and he'd add loads to this team as well. So I want to bring him in as well, but I just don't think we can afford him. That's the only thing. I'm going to go to the squad hub now. I've been getting bids left, right and centre for Joe Gomez. It's not something I've ever done. I declined it at the start of the career mode because I wanted to see how he progresses. I've not used him. I just want to have a look at stats. I want to see how many games he's actually played because it really can't be many. I know he's filled in at right back in times, but Fabinho's played 14. Gomez has only played nine. Is it time to let him go? I don't know. Another one is Curtis Jones. Now, I wanted to keep this career mode realistic and this guy for me in real life has not been performing at all. He's a young guy, probably get a bit of money for him. So I'm going to list him on the transfer list and just see what we get, see what comes through. Same with Gomez. Gomez is already on there. So I'm just going to redo it just so it hopefully wakes it up and just see what offers we get in because I was getting like 40, 50 million for Joe Gomez and I think that is just too much to decline. Milner as well, transfer list, listen we're not going to get anything for him so that's fair enough. Other than that, I don't want to sell anyone because everyone here you can see are clearly playing games and they're starting. Harvey Elliott playing 19 games, that is what we like to see by the way. Um, I just don't want to sell anyone, I don't want it to be unrealistic, I don't want to lose all these players. That is what we're going to do. Returns from injury! Fabinho, quality news, come on. We've also got a transfer off for Kurt Jones, 21 million, that's a lot more than I thought it would be. I don't know man, I don't know. It's boyhood club, when I say that I don't want to sell him. We've got Harvey Elliott there, I think it's a realistic move, I think he actually will be leaving Liverpool end of this year, if he carries on the way he is. He can't get regular game time, he's not even playing for me, you got to think about that as well. I've played him in like four games this year, and like three of them were the cup game, do you know what I mean? He's just not going to play, especially when Valverde comes in, he'll be even further down, and Eze. I'm going to have to at least delegate this and try and get some more money out of it. I mean, God, if we can start at 38, I'll be happy with that. Valverde, man, I am so excited if we can bring him in. It'll just add a different dynamic, won't it? Chelsea, this is a massive game. I'm kind of getting sidetracked by the transfer window, but these are second. I believe it's not loaded in. I believe they're like four points above us, maybe? Yeah, four points above us. Um, won, you know, scored similar goals, conceded... Well, actually, fucking hell. Scored the exact same amount of goals and conceded the exact same amount of goals. How weird's that? So... Big game this, massive game. This is going to be a banging episode, by the way. Transfer, two games, two wins. I just know it's going to be. They're playing full strength. Do we play five at the back as well? I think we do. I think I want to get good at it. And they are doing the exact same thing as well. So midfield, Fabinho was meant to be fit, but he, he isn't fit right now. Don't know why Allison is on the bench. I, I have not been involved in that. I have no idea why Allison's on the bench. Good job, I bloody checked as well. What, my God. We're going to have to go Henderson and Thiago in there. Salah can come out, I guess, for um, the lad Jota on the right-hand side. It's fine. Uh, that's the team. What a great team we're setting out here, apart from Henderson. And Kostas Simikas is back on the bench where he belongs. Not where he belongs on the bench. I mean, I mean in the squad where he belongs. Come on, massive game at Stamford Bridge in that away kit. Let's do this. I need a win. We've been awful recently. Absolutely dreadful. Losing to Everton. Losing to United. Scraping a win against West Ham. Scraping a win against um, someone else as well. Not good. Let me know who's been your favourite player to watch this year in the career mode. It's got to be Firmino. Firmino's just been absolutely balling out every single game he scores. It's unbelievable. Obviously playing him today as well. Aubameyang's a quick player. I'm not fearing Aubameyang at all. I'm not fearing him at all. Watch him go and score now. Keep the ball. They've not touched the ball yet. That's the correct way to play. Go on. Overlap. Get going then, Robbo. He's onside. Firmino. Oh, what a nice bit of play that was, boys. Well done. That wasn't Firmino. That was um, 
Is that Henderson? It was Henderson then. Bloody hell. That's what we need though. We need to keep the ball. If we give them the ball, they just run up and score straight away. I guess Canate is another one I could think of selling. He's not a starter. He's the only one who really plays that's worth a lot but isn't a starter. I just don't want to sell Canate. He's literally the future of the team. Honestly, he is. And Trent's through. This is the advantage of playing the overlap and no one's in. I'm have to shoot. I'm going to have to shoot. Trent. Can we force a corner here? We can't. Unlucky. There was no one supporting me at all. It isolated there on that right hand side. But that's the advantage of playing the three back. Or five back. You get that men over. And that overlap. Ibu Kanate. Boom! Trent's just trying to fanny around with the ball. Trying to do fanny passes. What was that, Alexander Arnold? Great save from Allison. Trent is in the bad books here. Out. Go on then. Go on, Trent. Get running, Jota. Where are you? Look at look at that. There's men over there. There is men over. Robert sends in. Heavy touch. Knock it back if you can. The idea was there. He's offside there. He's offside. Yeah, he's offside. Come on. I played a manual offside trap. Can you believe that? Oh, Thiago. Elastica City. He's passed straight back to them, though. That's so bad. Keep it. Well done, Alisson. He's fouled my player. Alisson, what are you doing, man? Half time. Listen, that was poor. I wouldn't mind a draw here away at Stamford Bridge. They are second, considering the injuries we have had. A draw wouldn't be awful. In the box. To Jota. Bang. Oh, corner ball. What's he give? Referee's given some fear. Yellow card, yeah. Thought so, man. Thought so. What? How have I won that header? I haven't won that header. And if I did, it was a bloody poor effort. We're creating chances, but they're getting through. I'm liking this three at the back, though, just in case they do get through. I, th I feel like we can contain them quite well with a three back. What the hell? No, 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 switch player! Oh, thank God I'm too good at this game. I think I need two up top. I know it's not Liverpool way. I'm just... They're intercepting every single pass I make. I need to change something. That's offside. He's onside. What is that? This game's rigged. This game makes you play crap and gives you mistakes. So they get corners and stuff. That would have never happened in any other scenario, that. That's so annoying. Right then, this is a mess. We're going to move to a two up top. Uh, just because I, I, I'm struggling to create stuff. So Hendo, Thiago in there. Diaz on the left, perfect. Um, on the right, Elliot can come on the right. He's actually gone up in rating. Thank God. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I've got no inspiration here. Trent, I like that. Hendo, he's so bad. He turns like a truck reversing. He is so bad. I can't even dribble with him. I don't even know what he's good at at this point. Look at Trent. Bang. Go on then, lad. No one's in the box. Just cut back in if we can. Play Firmino in there. Thiago, look at this. We're creating room. Back post crossing in. What was that? Firmino's getting back. Firmino doing the dog work. And that's well done. Well done. We'll take a throw in there. Well done. Someone's got to win the ball back. Hey, Henderson. That's a foul. That's a foul. That's a foul! If they score from this, I swear to God. We're holding on quite well. Can we nick a goal here? Can we nick a goal? Oh, nearly. Let's press them high. Oh, they've played out the press. They've been doing that all day, to be fair, playing out this press nicely. Look at this. I mean, this is unbelievable. How Sterling at goal side of Trent there. Chelsea playing like the bloody Galacticos here. Oh, it's a corner. What's that fella in the middle? Have they got a woman in, in, in the box? Some bird in there. Look at that. Who's that? Some bloody ponytail bird in the box. You can't cross play. It's Darwin Nunes! <laughs> Unbelievable! Darwin Nunes has come on. If he scores against us, I will not be happy, by the way. I forgot we sold him here. I completely forgot. Oh my god, go on. Men over. What a ball! Diaz, cut in, please. Who's in the box? Jota! No! <laughs> Damn it! Oh, corner! Oh my god. I can't sit still. What a bit of play that was. Let's go, Robertson on the corner, an in-swinger, coming in, hot. Get involved on that, boys. Bang. Matip. Nod it back out if you can. Back out, back out wide. 
Firmino. Finish it. Oh, it's unlucky. Is that a corner? No, it's a goal kick. It's unlucky. If Nunes scores a header, I'm leaving. You see what I mean? That was on the edge of the box. And they won the header. Course did it. Ben Chilwell or something. And it nearly went in. If it wasn't for Allison, that was a goal. They won that header as well. 0-0 at Stamford Bridge. Listen, it's not the worst performance, actually. We played quite well. I did enjoy the 4-4-2. I don't know. I'm really torn with formations, and that's the worst. I don't know what to commit to. Pretty dull game, actually. So, if you didn't see much of that, that's probably why. But 11 shots in the game. Really boring. 0-0. Let's see if any offers have come in for Joe Gomez or Curtis Jones. And we're straight into the Leeds game, by the way. That was two days later. Jota transfer offer. PSG 87 million. I can't even think about that, can I? I can't even consider that, I don't think. If I can get 123 million for Jota, though, I think I've got to kind of think about it, but there's no interest of me. You no, know, I don't want to sell Jota. I don't want to sell him. Even though he's not been great this year, I think he's scored, like, under five goals. Home against Leeds, come on. Simicast, 8 million. No, you can sod off. 8 million. Disrespect. I am going to start in a 4-2-3-1. You know, against someone like Leeds, I can experiment with these. They are bottom of the league, after all. It's at home. I should be winning these games. Actually, Firmino's got a bit of a fitness issue, so we're going to go for Jeremy Frimpong. Trent into midfield. We all know what happens when he plays there as well, by the way. And then that double pivot with Thiago. Diaz on the left-hand side. Leao's back fit. I forgot he's back fit. Let's get Leao in there. Oh, buzzing for this. I cannot wait. He's gone down a rating, I think. I'm so excited for this. Leao is back, everyone. Come on, Liverpool. Big game again. I say big game, but honestly, every game is huge here. He's at bottom of the table. I want to see a few goals past these today. Both the young lads, Carvalho and Elliot, are playing. Can Leao get a shot off here? Leao. Shot on target. Five minutes in. Love that. I'm excited, man. It feels like we just bought Leao. Do you know what I mean? Like, you've got that, um, not used them in a while kind of suspense. And they're in here. Bamford. I don't, I don't worry about Bamford. Don't worry at all. Offside. And that offside? Okay. Jota's in. Ball from, was that Harvey Elliott, I think? Can he cut in and find a shot? And he can't. It's a good tackle from Hubner, whoever that is. Frimpong's running back out of the pitch. Frimpong to Harvey Elliott. I fluffed that. Bloody hell, boys. Cavallio. To Leao. Bit of skill, bit of trickery. Go on, then. Have it back, Jota. Oh, unlucky, boys. We're playing quite well here. We've overcommitted, though. Jesus, where's everyone gone? Watch that press. Watch that press. Pass. Go. Go on, then. We're in. Can we find Jota in that box? No, we can't. Let's have it for a throw in. Then Trent. Oh, nearly. Frimpong. A Trent. Oh, nearly. We'll score one of them one day. It seems when it goes in as well. I'm yet to score one of those power shots on FIFA, to be fair. Got to put a tackle in here. Just going to say as well, these are not as bad as um, whoever it was who beat 5-0. Was it, was it Bournemouth or something? Bournemouth were dreadful. These actually aren't too bad. Shift of pace. Robbo's won it back. I love this. Fullback's getting high up, you know, today. Elliot's done a bit of work there. Jota's turned his man. There's just no one in the box. I'm just trying to craft chances. Elliot, bang. Oh, what? It's a matter of time, lads. It's only a matter of time. Our midfield's really pushing up very high. I don't know if I like it. Onside. Cavallio. Finish the deal for us. Get a goal. Oh, what a great save from that guy. We are all over them like a rash. Robbo with the ball in. No post delivery. To Jota. Oh, nearly... We're getting so close to these headers. Back out wide. To Harvey Elliott. Cut in. Finesse. What's going on here? I can't tell what's going on. Referee, you've got to make it clearer. Half time, apparently. It was 44 minutes a second ago. Listen, I don't know how we've not scored there. We are all over them. Is that daily blind? <laughs> and knowing my luck, it'll end nil nil this. I don't know how we're not winning. I need a runner. I need a runner. No one's moving for me. I have to move by myself. That's a foul. That's just brute force from Hubner. Down the line. That's the wrong pass. Go on then. Finish this for me, Elliot. What is... This is just awful, boys. It's like there's no link-up play up here at all. I can't tell if there's loads of link-up play or none at all. He's offside there, isn't he? 
If he's not, that'd be a great goal. He wasn't offside. Oh, did you see that? How he just shifted off the man. That was classy. If I just keep creating these chances, though, something will come. That's nice. Tiago. Oh, I tried to shoot. Knowing, knowing my luck, this will be nil-nil or even one-nil to them. Look at that. It just shrugs me off like I'm not even there. Please be offside. I can't, I can't create anything. I'm going to have to bring someone on. I think Firmino's going to have to come on. Firmino and Diaz. Wow. What a pairing. Another problem is they're playing so deep. You know, I can't play a through ball in. I can't catch them on the counter. I'm having to kind of pass around the, the edge of the box a lot this game, which I never really do. He's won that back, though. Keep it in. Nope, of course. We're playing against the computer. They will not let you keep that in. Even if you're the quickest man ever, you will not keep that in. It will always go out. That's FIFA, unfortunately, for you. And that 75 rated player just played an absolutely inch perfect pass. If I do that, it goes the other bloody direction. It goes to bloody uh, Goodison Park if I did that. Watch this press. Now, go. They've ever committed. I like that pass. That's a foul. I've just felt my controller shake. Right, thank you, ref. They don't show. They don't point to anything. They don't blow a whistle. They just keep playing. And then the game pausing. Like, oh, it's a foul. It's through there. Go on, Jota, lad. Cut in. Lay out, finish that. No, oh, I've got time for that, mate. I've got time for that. Right, we're getting to the, uh, the closing stages now. Trent's going to put in a free kick, a corner here. I'm going to go there, bang. Put it in. Just rubbish, isn't it, really, that? To Van Dijk, no, of course they win it. And they clear it as high as they can, but it falls straight to their player. Of course, this game makes loads of sense. 1-2 to Frimpong. Finish it. Yes. Come on, Jeremy Frimpong. Frimpong is not a fraud. You heard it here first. Come on. I'm not going to do that. That was the most lackluster finish ever. And Frimpong and Leao celebrate. Nice little 1-2. It was always coming. It's been coming all game like a train. Look at this. That's all it took. All game. Just a quick 1-2. None of this fanning about with the ball, excuse my language. Top corner, Frimpong. Come on, boys, hold on to this now. What a well-thought-after win this would be as well. It's not over yet, of course it's not. It's FIFA. Go on, Leo. Let's try to recreate that first goal, shall we? leo has got pace to burn. Look at far post. Diaz! Oh, need to keep this. Thiago's won it back, of course he has. Through ball to Diaz, this could be a second. Can we put the nail in the coffin for Leeds? Near post, thanks for coming. Oh, he's missed. He's missed. I can't believe he's missed. <laughs> Honestly, my finishing with anyone other than Firmino is just dreadful. It's just awful. Are we going to regret that chance? I don't think we are. I don't know, though. I don't know. That's a great pass. That is onside. Oh, he's offside. Ah, twat. You've been offside loads, pal. And that is a massive win. Line. What's going on here? Let's get another chance. Jota in the box. Jota, finish it. Oh, what a save. What a stop that was. Put a ball in. Why not? Let's do it. 3-2-1. Jota with the header. Bang. Lay out. Oh, unlucky boys. Come on. That is a huge win. Well deserved as well. The 1-0 does not look too good, but we should have won 3-4 there. And that save at the end from their keeper. That really just summed up their whole game, to be honest. 11 shots to 1, that was an absolute embarrassment from them. 2.5 XG, you know, I said, that was just so one-sided. But after all, they were bottom of the league, I did expect that. Chelsea drew to West Ham and United drew to Newcastle. Massive results there. Uh, massive points slipped in the title race. So I think next we've got Millwall in the cup, I believe, is it the... FA Cup, or I don't know, it might be the Carabao. I don't know, we'll, we'll simulate that game in this video. But I want to get some transfers done. Jones, 25 million they've gone for, it's with a heavy heart I've got to accept that, I've got to think of the the best for the club now, not in 7 years, and this is Valverde we're talking about, what an improvement that is on this team, Curtis Jones hopefully has gone to Ajax, and what a great move for him personally as well, Trent to Man City, you mess it, 151 million you can get for him, add a zero on that and we're still not even talking. Unfortunately, so obviously a transfer window episode. So only two games. We do actually have a cup game So you kind of get in two and a half because we're going to simulate this one against Millwall 
Um, play match, we're going to simulate this with a weakened team. I don't know how weak we should make the team, necessarily. I, I don't have a clue. I'm going to go for this, just a five back. I can't be asked changing it. Jones comes in. Gordon as well. Cade Gordon scored two in the first game, so it's only fair we play him again. Kvitschka, Jota's got a bit of fitness issues. We'll play for me, that's perfect. Simikas makes his first appearance since coming back from injury. Let's simulate this game. Quick sim. My lord. We are dreadful. 1-1 one, one against Millwall. That means we've got a replay as well. Oh, that's the last thing we need for fitness as well. Oh, what? Jones has broken down. I don't mean mentally. I mean, his transfer's broken down. Oh, I've got no idea what we do now. I've got no idea. This is my only thought. This is my only option. We try and do a swap deal. Because we can't sell Jones. So what we do is we just offer Real Madrid a bit of money and Jones. Because that is essentially selling Jones. Give it a go. I don't think this is going to work. I mean, what are the chances of them wanting Jones? So he's valued at 18 million, let's say 20. So let's say give him an extra 40, do you reckon? I don't know. No, maybe maybe 50. Let's start high. We'll go 55. We'll start high. I want to get this transfer done. Come on, please accept this. What? They want Jones and 88 million. I was going to offer them 80 million anyway without Jones. Wait there. Proposed new transfer fee. That's just talking out your ass, pal. Let's go for 72 plus Jones. They want 84. Ah, uh, no. No. 78. I don't want to go over the top. 76, come on. That's a good deal. He's given it as well, that's a good deal. I do think we did overpay there, slightly. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, because it said 100 and something million on there. It said um, <clears throat> he's valued about 100 million. And they reckon we could have gotten for 85, was it something, 85? So we got 70-something odd and Jones. Yeah, get rid of the wages as well for Jones. Let's just negotiate this and see if we can get Valverde secured into the club. This is exciting. Valverde, Bellingham and Fabinho with Thiago on the bench. The rotation there is heavy. That is good. He only wants an important role. What a, what a selfless guy. Fine, important. Yeah, you can have that. 165k a week. Four-year deal, what are you saying? That's not him. That is not him. Who's that? Why has he changed race? I'm signing some fraud. I'm signing some counterfeit. Oh, there he is. On the left. I thought the fellow on the right was him. Because it kept zooming in on him. So I'm signing, signing some counterfeit Valverde here. This leaves us with no money in the bank. Um... But listen, I want Rudy Gomez anyway. A signing bonus. He's taking the piss. Five appearances, you want a, a mill, not a chance. You scummy sod. He's given, he's joined. Federico Valverde joins Liverpool for a fee of about 74 million plus Curtis Jones. I'm so happy with this result. You all want it, you all vote for this. Uh, man of the people, I reckon. There he is, my mate, my representative. In the same tracksuit he always is. Am I going to be in here on my phone? Yes, I am. I'm too busy to talk to you. You're not on my league, is what I'm saying there. Come on. Jones plus 76 million. On the face of it, I may have overpaid slightly. I admit that. But it's given me a C, so it can't have been that bad. What a massive signing. An 85 rated player to slot straight into the team. I would actually say a realistic signing. There's been loads of talk about Valverde going to Liverpool. I don't necessarily think it'll happen just because of the owners. I don't think that'll happen, but what a massive signing. And what we can do now is change formation back to the 4-2-3-1. So we play West Ham next. So our strongest 11 against West Ham we can put out now would be Van Dijk in there. Matip would be fit in a few days. Trent. And then in DM, our mate Federico Valverde. Look at that 87 pace. Look at the 80s. Look at the 80s in there. He's coming in. Is he right-footed? He is. Hi, hi. He's going to be a pit bull. He's going to be a box-to-box -box player. Him and Bellingham's going to be unbelievable, by the way. And then we'll go for... Who's fit now? Thiago's definitely fit. There he is. Thiago up there with Valverde. Henderson can finally, finally come out of the team. Thank God. It's been so long since we've just not played Henderson. Look at this team, man. I'm getting chills. We're going back to normal. Leal comes in. Um, Diaz can come in here. And then Firmino in behind. What we're saying to this? Obviously, they have a bit of fitness issues, but they're just playing the cup. Wow. I'm so excited for this, boys. Tune in for next episode. I'm just going to check the calendar. I think we play West Ham 
I don't know who else we play. West Ham we just about managed to beat last time we played them as well. It's going to be a good one. So next game we've got West Ham away, then Millwall in the Cup. We might even play that Millwall game. You know, with a B team, just to play someone like the Gordons of the world, just to play with them, see what they're like. That would make sense because then we can do two games in the... Yeah, that makes sense. Two games in January and then a bit of transfer action. Hopefully get Eze through the door and perhaps get some bids in for Gomez. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave it a like. 100 likes and episode 14 will be out tomorrow. Leave a like down below. Subscribe. Have a good day, lads. See you later.